This is Grow Your Faith, a podcast dedicated to bringing you encouragement from God's Word. Every week, this show will dive into inspirational teachings that will give your spirit the boost it needs. We weren't called to go through this life alone, so let's dive in together with our hosts, Pat Milligan and Michael Chestnut. Welcome back, everyone, to this Monday morning again. We're so happy to have you. I'm Michael Chestnut here with our co-host, Pat Milligan. Actually, Pat's the host. I just co-host with him. He's doing such a great job. Pat, I'm excited about the 23rd Psalms today on this Monday and what you have to bring to us. Okay, good morning, everyone. We want to take the 23rd Psalm this morning, and I want to read it to you. Then I want to give you a comment after so, uh, so much of it. Uh, it says, first of all, the Lord is my shepherd. That's a relationship that we need. I, I shall not want. That's a, that's a supply. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. That's rest, and we need that rest every day in our life. He leadeth me beside the still waters. That's refreshment. Give me refreshment in my life. He restores my soul. That's healing. Boy, I need healing in my life today. You know, people are hurting today. We need healing in their life. God gives that healing. He leadeth me, healed me in the path of righteousness. That's guidance. He will guide me step by step. He, for his name's sake, uh, that's a purpose. That's a purpose that we have. Uh, yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, that and that is a testing. God will test us and see where we're at. You know, sometimes I look at it this way. You know, we say we want to follow God and we want to do this for God. Right away, God's going to test us and see if that's so. Are we really serious about it? And I hope you are serious about it. it goes on. I said, I will fear that fear no evil. That's protection. Thou the, and thou shall uh, are with 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 me. Uh, that's fellowship. And the rod and, and the staff, they cover me. That discipline. We need discipline in our life. You know, we need discipline. I, I, I think one of the greatest things as a coach that I, I found out is when someone comes up and says, your team is disciplined. You know, that, 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 that means something right there. Because you know, discipline is so important. And when you say that you are disciplined in your life, it makes a big difference. It goes on and says, Thou pairs the table before me in the presence of, of my enemies. That's hope that we have in God. And that thou anoint my head with oil. Uh, that's con- consecration. And my cup runneth over. That's abundance. And surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. That's blessings that we, we have in our life. And we see God doing that in our life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord. With, with, with That is security. He, he says, you can dwell in the house of God. And today, we can be right there today as you think about your life. And and, and it goes on and says forevermore. And, and, that, and that's, of course, eternity. As you think about that, just, just kind of just see what God has for you. As you think of Psalm 23, he gives us so many different blessings and, uh, and, and things uh, to help us to realize where we're at. And as we think about 23 Psalms today, think about what God can do for you. That's my thoughts for you today. Pat, thank you so much. I mean, how great it is, you know, um, starting off with the Psalms for the week. Um, I, I think I said that the other day, that was one of the things you taught me was, you know, read a Psalms and a Proverbs every day, you know, is a great way to to start off. So thank you so much for going over that with us. I think it goes with last week's lesson, too, about being grounded in God's um, love and God's word and everything else. So Pat, again, you know, I want to thank you for a great week. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, you know, so we just got to keep remembering that until next week. You guys just keep growing your faith. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in to the Grow Your Faith podcast with Pat Milligan and Michael Chestnut, your weekly dose of encouragement from God's word. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And we'll see you next week right here on Grow Your Faith.